it's your girl Kiki and I'm back with another video. I'm happy I'm back. I get to talk to y'all up close and personal and you know I'm a Taurus. So I like looking at myself and stuff. So yeah, that's why I'm kind of happy too. But um, but shadow, um, yeah so for t today's video we're going to be talking about the um, planets and how the planets will be affecting us all of us as a collective that means all the 12 zodiac signs how it will be affecting us all in our lives some type of way okay so if you're new to my channel hi my name is my channel what's up it's your girl kiki but um for my spiritual videos i like to be called um spiritual k but if you if you want to call me kiki sexy spice whatever whatever floats your boat that's fine but like for my um videos i like to represent myself as spiritual k because of course this is a spiritual video all right okay so um yeah but yeah so today's gonna video is gonna be how the planets are going to be affecting us so i'm gonna tell you right now see okay so um so mercury let me start with mercury mercury has to do with the mind the communication the intellect reasoning language into intelligence so mercury is mercury is in scorpio right now and it stations direct in scorpio october 13th 2020 okay so what that means is that um have the need to investigate things like investigate things so like if we're having a um if we're having a conversation more than likely like for example if you're having like a debate with somebody and you know you're not seeing eye to eye with that person you're going to kind of want to investigate like you're gonna try to look for proof to kind of prove that person wrong or just to do your investigation if somebody says oh yeah um I make this amount of money or I make or um I did this or I did this you're gonna be like oh well so where's the proof because I'm not gonna just believe you like that's how Scorpios are Scorpios like to investigate things and kind of just know the full truth so Scorpios also pay attention to details very very well and as y'all know I'm a Scorpio moon <laughs> you know and i am very detail oriented um i pay attention to detail i pay attention to um to surroundings i feel like taurus sun scorpio moon and aries rising look i could cut and see through the mother freaking bullshit okay so that just heightens my intuition like scorpios are very intuitive um scorpios are very intuitive and yeah anyways uh yeah so basically we like to absorb detail of the environment so we really were um so basically we're all gonna want to pay attention to what people are saying we're kind of want to listen to you know what people are saying and you know scorpios also like to get in touch with their feelings so a lot of people are going to be basically kind of getting in touch with well especially all the signs because i know some signs um can't really get in touch with their feelings but this time um we're definitely going to be getting in touch with our feelings even if you haven't really felt your feelings before this time it's going to be very intense and you're really going to be feeling your feelings so you know that's something new for the people that you know just don't dive into their feelings Scorpios are also intuitive so we're also going to have intuitive insight some may not um especially if you're not spiritual you're not really going to follow your intuition but your intuition is always there you just don't know that your intuition is speaking to you and you don't know what your intuition is so that's Ha, that's why some people don't really listen to their intuition and get things right but yeah so your intuition is going to be definitely on point especially about the things that you're going to be talking about the things that you're going to communicate be communicating oh venus has to do um so venus is in virgo and venus has to do with basically beauty pleasure and just your social just like your social setting like your so like people that you're social with your social environment and stuff like that and that's going to be in virgo so venus enters libra at tuesday 
October the 27th, 2020. So yeah, so let's just look out for that. Venus also has to do something with cash, so we're gonna be very, um, Virgos, they pay attention to details too, and they're very nitpicky about things. So people are gonna be very nitpicky about their cash and about, you know, how maybe they spend certain things or what they spend things on or how they want to spend things on. People are gonna be very judgmental about that or just, yeah, something in that nature. So also, people are also gonna be very nitpicky or um, about the way you dress or the way you look. This might, you know, for the people that um, also like are pretty very jealous, that's gonna be kind of being gonna show you know it's gonna show it's gonna come out yeah so basically you're gonna want to um be very detail oriented about the way you do do your hair the way you look so you're gonna want to change little things up you're gonna want to kind of be a perfectionist want your hair perfect want the way you look perfect you know that's gonna be very important you know in all of our our as a collective this in virgo is going to make us not very flirtatious so we're not gonna we're gonna have a hard time um being flirtatious or even you know kind of taking jokes we're kind of gonna we're gonna kind of be taking jokes a little bit too serious y'all so basically yeah we're not gonna be very flirtatious so maybe if you're joking around with your partner or you're um, being flirtatious with your partner you're not really going to take it well or especially the kind of um, words that you're gonna be using Virgos are really good at flirting so um, the words that you're gonna kind of be using um, it might be intended in a in one way that you think it's gonna be but it's gonna be interpreted in another way so um, yeah so we really want to kind of use our words wisely and kind of watch what, what we say a little bit because people are going to be like kind of nitpicky about certain things that they hear especially if they don't hear it right uh, okay also venus and virgo has to do with um just willing to work on um our relationships like willing to work on our relationships with our parents our partners our um just trying to just basically trying to um work on our all our relationships trying to be a better person for that person um Venus in Virgo is not going to make our romantic partners very um I would say they're not going to be surprising you with grand gifts like that like um Virgos don't really it's like Virgos are like about the little things. It's like the little things that count to them. So, so they're not gonna really do big things to kind of like show appreciation to you. They're gonna do like little things like ch maybe chores in the house or maybe running errands for you or just doing little things that you ask them to do. That's what they'll do. And they're also going to just want to, um, I feel like partners or relationships, they're going to want to kind of spend a little bit more time with you, kind of um, be a little bit more close so they can, you know, you know, maybe even get that one on one time or just kind of be more present in your life. Venus in Virgo is going to make us sensitive in love. So we're going to, um, some of us may tend to be a little bit more jealous in like relationships like you may you may see like your jealous side coming out it doesn't even have to do with jealousy it also has to do with basically how you feel insecure and what ways you feel insecure at where in any area of your life it could be with the way maybe you look maybe something in your body or like your money or something maybe you're insecure about maybe your money situation or just the way that um just kind of um also maybe social um like maybe if you're gonna be a, like say people are gonna like because some people have social anxiety so maybe that's more prone now and um you're just gonna be extra careful about where you want to go because you don't want to kind of um be anxious so people are gonna actually like you know choose their decisions a little bit more wisely Venus in Virgo we're gonna be a little bit more great listeners we're gonna be observing a little bit more we're gonna actually be nagging a lot more I've noticed that um 
I've also noticed that, like, with people in me, um, we're going to be nagging a little bit more. We're going to be criticizing a little bit more in our, like, relationships or our social environments or, you know, anything. Um, also... While Venus is in Virgo, we also want to um, show appreciation because people are going to be um, a little bit more nitpicky about like the way that you show appreciation. They they don't want to see it in the little things. You know what you know what I'm saying. They want to be shown a little bit more. So you kind of gotta watch out for it. It's gonna be a little bit more easier, easy going than usual. So you may let things slide a little bit more than usual than than you usually do but um yeah so that's how it's gonna be but we want to make sure that we're being genuine in our relationships and with ourselves we want to be genuine and that's very important honestly i feel like that's basically the um theme of the um theme of the month i feel like being genuine to yourself and being genuine towards people i feel like that's going to be the highlight of this month and it's also observing and I'm kind of observing observing your friendship and your social groups kind of seeing like who's there for you where you want to be um, who you want to um, hang your hang around and stuff and just be more we're gonna see who's for us and who's really for not for us basically um also we're gonna be a bit more shy like i said earlier some people are going to be a little bit more shy in like more big social groups and this is in virgo we're gonna do be doing a lot of running errands like running errands to get like maybe running errands to get like little things like um hair supplies um house supplies um just things that we're missing in our home we might be restocking on beauty supplies or just things that we want or need and doing little things for people maybe we may be doing little things for people for a little bit extra cash or something like that you may be helping somebody out um helping um people out a little bit more um also you're gonna be a little bit more detailed in your work like you're gonna want things the way you want it like you're gonna be kind of Virgos are really perfectionists, so if it's not how they want it to go, they're not gonna post it. So say you're posting a video, you're not gonna post that video if it's not the way you want it to, it or it doesn't come out the way you want it to. You're not gonna post a picture if it doesn't come out the way you want it to. If um like the money situation is not going the way you want it to, or your business is not going the way you want to, you might not you know i don't know but it has to do you're not gonna you're not gonna rush yourself you're gonna be more so slow in progress but yeah a perfectionist type of person we're going to be very over over critical of people um while venus is in virgo over critical um about the why people are doing certain things that they're doing um dressing the way that they're dressing and why they're not doing certain things the way they want it to work in virgo we're gonna be a little bit more picky about things that we wear and things that we eat and you know and i know i've noticed that too i've been a little bit more picky about things that i eat we might be wanting to eat a little bit more healthier i feel like a lot a lot of people are going to start eating more healthier while venus is in virgo and that ends at october 27th i don't know what it and um what it oh it's going to enter in libra so we're still going to be keeping that balance that healthy diet but we're also going to like try to put more healthier diets in our um you know daily lives uh, also we're gonna have to watch the way that we spend money we're gonna have to watch the way um we spend money you don't want to overspend and you want to you you don't want to spend too much um you want to spend the right amount you so yeah just be be careful about that how you spend your money spend your money with care spend your money for things that you really need and not things that you want temporarily um yeah but basically it's gonna be a lot of spending money on like kind of ridiculous items and stuff like that and things that you don't really need long term but you know it's okay um so also mars has to do with aggression 
sex, action, desire, competition, courage, passion, war, tolerance. So Mars is going to be retrograde in Aries. So, you know, it's going to be going back to something, going back. Um, so basically, we're going to be kind of moving back. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of like the problem is like you're going to kind of feel a little bit. I feel like it's going to be a little bit blocked. I feel like you're um you're gonna feel a little blocked because that's kind of what i'm feeling now now i moved to that one now i'm feeling like i shifted to another energy so it's like more like feeling more blocked more tense uh more like aggression type like it's like really tense type shit so, but anyways it stations direct on friday november 13th so we will be feeling this type of energy until november 13th uh, we're gonna be feeling a sudden burst of activity just wanting to do different things at different times wanting to do different things fast or just you know just moving pretty fast um also it's gonna we're gonna be a little bit more forceful with like the way we approach to things or all right y'all i'm back my bad i have to pause this show real quick because somebody's knocking on the door okay so basically um now you bye okay um so yeah so i'm gonna kind of be triggering others a little bit you know you know um we might be a little bit careless with details we might not really be thinking about what we're gonna do before we do it like you know kind of taking a pause you know like planning things ahead you know what i'm saying so also you're gonna be too headstrong controlling personality so you're gonna want to control situations like shit and you're gonna want you know just control them anyways so also you're gonna want to get things done like pronto pronto i want it done right now there's gonna be a lot of surprises with success so basically maybe some people are going to be opening businesses or have already opened business and your business been open for a long time and it's actually going to be making more progress and more progress and more progress so it's going to be a lot of success and money coming in really quickly and a lot of customers coming in really quickly so just be take a look out um you just want to be more um consistent with what you do so things can come in pretty quick late okay also you're going to want to be more argumentative so you know it may be some arguments here and there so just watch out for that and be careful okay and hear the other person out like i said venus is in virgo so you want to listen to what other people say also don't hold on to grudges you don't want to be holding on to grudges or any resentment from others so let's not do that or people feel value for the things they do because that's going to be there that's going to be highlighted for this month until actually november 13th so just make sure that happens and also, anywho i'm sorry if it looks blurry you just gonna have to deal with it and just don't mind yeah, it yeah, listen to me talk bad. because come on now let's not act like i'm more interesting than what's your the blurriness okay um okay what else yeah kids are gonna be feeling like um daredevils they're gonna want to do things that kind of scare their parents like you know and my kids been doing that like they be trying to jump trying to jump off things that they know they don't have no business jumping off so yeah so be careful make sure you watch your kids because you know that's what's going to be happening until november 13th it's going to be a little bit more prone to fights and stuff so just be careful with that okay just don't fight find common ground find balance okay um also, it's going to be a lot of people playing hard to get. So maybe you're, um, maybe some people may be playing hard to get, or maybe your partner may be playing hard to get. So just be looking out for that because that's what's going to be happening. Also, plan adventure dates. So uh, now is a good time to kind of plan adventures because it's going to be very enjoyable. Um, you know. Days could be definitely be like home things, like maybe painting for the first time and just fun things that all of you guys are going to be, um, that's everything that's going to be fun. Okay. 
um fight hard make up harder okay so it's gonna be you know some find some a little bickering here and there but you know what you gonna make up so don't even worry about it Jupiter is gonna be in Capricorn so Jupiter enters Aquarius Saturday December 19th Jupiter is all about luck growth expansion abundance and understanding okay do you hear me okay so while Jupiter is in Capricorn, you're going to be having to work more harder for be having to work more harder for the things that we want and money. So just be on the lookout for that. Be prepared. OK, be organized in finances, please. Um, and just the way you do things, you want to be more organized because people are going to be very nitpicky about the way you work and the way you do things. So just be, yeah, and um, creating structure. You're going to want to create more structure for yourself. So you're going to be, you know what, trying to save money and stuff like that. Trying to like, okay, you're also not going to be really comfortable about reflecting, reflecting on finances or just things that you pop, like, I don't know. Only you know what I mean, okay? Capricorn, Saturn enters in Aquarius at Thursday, December 17th. It seems like all of these signs are going to change in Aquarius, but it is, um, enters in a, um, all right, I'm back, y'all. My bad, I have to leave out for a second, but I'm back now. Okay, so. It's Jamal Williams now. All right, Saturday, Saturn, my bad, I'm a little, but um, Saturn has to do with structure, law, structure, and discipline, so Saturn is in Capricorn, so we're going to be a little bit more stricter about our structure, um, certain restrictions, and disciplines, and responsibilities, and um, ambition, and we're going to be working hard. Really got there. to accomplish structure, um, structure, discipline, and responsibility. So that we're going to, Saturn is going to have us want to level up in our career. Um, so a lot of people might be wanting to level up in their career or want more money from their foreign job or whatever the case is. I don't know. Also, employees criticizing to unfair treatment and toxic workplace. So supervisors and managers and just co-workers. Bae, can you turn down that TV? Real quick, employees criticizing to unfair treatment and toxic workplace. So, um, employees and managers aren't gonna sick relationships between coworkers and um, just unfair treatment. So, if you're trying to call off and there's no reason for you to call off, don't do it because your your um, employer is going to get on you about it. And you know, ain't no you know sliding. You might slide, but you know, maybe one time, maybe two times, but maybe not like, not three times. Okay. Saturn is gonna just push past limitations. So yeah, so be on the lookout for that. Also, Saturn and Capricorn is gonna teach us to kind of boss up, and it's gonna test our strength. Okay. So you know, yeah. Anyways, Uranus is in Taurus. Uranus um, stations direct in Taurus at Wednesday 13th, 2021. Unpredictable changes that you didn't expect. Hold on, let me see when it started. Okay, so it ends in, ooh, next seat. It stations direct um, Wednesday 13th, 2021. So unpredictable changes until then. So be on the lookout for that make sure you're on your p's and q's about things um also people are going to be a little bit more rebellious to rules and just things so just be on the lookout for that and stuff like that sometimes rebellious is good but not too much rebellious, rebellious or whatever the case is but um reformation so people are going to be just growing as a person mentally, physically, and 
hopefully financially too financially too because Taurus has to do with like money and shit like that yeah. and home and family and stuff like that so yeah and we'll start businesses out the cut okay and at their own paces so you'll see a lot of women starting new businesses and stuff and just seeing a lot of businesses but they're gonna be women okay uh, that are um, starting their own businesses too but more so women it's gonna be more so more entrepreneurs being women than it is men so yeah material comforts okay so material comforts finances so I guess that means that you're gonna want to be comfortable in your finances so